estáis muy bien It's part of De Oro's new song. The DJ De Oro is called Me Caes Muy Bien. Mm -hmm. It's in Spanish, which means like in Spanish is like, I fuck with you. So it's a pretty dope song. It Actually, he apparently he said it's been years he's been trying to release this song, but he previewed it last December before Christmas. Hmm. And he goes, y'all really want to listen to this? Got a lot of like positive reviews and all that months later. Now pretty much the end of May. He finally, he literally dropped it on the way, as I was on the way over here. So, just came out. I've been waiting for the song to come out because I heard it. He gave a preview at a podcast. And they, like, pretty much what it was. Like, I trying to hear a new song? They're like, well, yeah. And he played it. And that's actually him singing it, too. That's what he said. Yeah. I went to his show in uh, last year in Halloween. His Halloween show here in Dallas. What? Yeah, and it was really lit. It was really dope. Because he does a lot of like old like Spanish song mixes with it and all that. So it was like, you know. It's it was pretty dope. Like first time really like there's like a Mexican American or Mexican DJ that plays like mixes in songs from the culture into uh techno that well. I should say they might have been mothers, but that well and has done very well at it. Like he did ADC, he's done like big shows like that. He did, he, I'm listening to his say he did in LA at some one eighty uh, one uh electronic dance show. I'll figure out what it was called. I gotta look it up and see what it is. But yeah, he he he's the one that made that song. No, I have no idea. Uh, it's five five hours. You know if you hear the beat. Probably. I'll play it like on the Patreon or something later on. 
since you already play music. I think and, Tariq's kids are like messaging me on PlayStation. Like you hopping on? No, they just keep www.google.com. <laughs> I, think I don't know. I think they're trying to get to the internet, but they don't. I don't. They just met. Somebody just messaged me from his thing and said, "My bad. I'll explain later." That's probably Tariq. <laughs> well, like they sent me like a bunch, and then I just sent back the like question. Yeah, I was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, what are you doing? And out of all the type of ways to contact you, <laughs> the PlayStation. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's why it made me think it was like his kids or something. Okay. Because they were they're playing Crash Bandicoot when I went by a minute ago. My bad. Okay. But yeah, he's a he's a dope DJ. Yeah, like he 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 made f- song five more hours. It's just the same beat and all that. But Chris Brown hopped on the song. Okay. Because Chris Brown uh, told him like, "Hey man, I think they were at a party or something." And Chris Brown was there, saw him, went up to him, was like, "Bro, I fuck with your music. I like that song. I want to hop on it." And you know, it's pretty dope. I think he is from Cali, if I'm correct. That makes sense if you got the Chris Breezy co-sign. Yeah. And that's the song that got him, like, popping. And then he started doing other songs that got him more with, like, this Mexican culture. Because he is Mexican-American. Yeah. And he's dope because he actually, like, talks, like, he'll he'll respond to fans, like, through social media. Like, I I saw that post and I, con- I tagged him in it and be like, just let me know when the song drops. And he contacted back and said, you know... Uh, bet you know everybody will know when I drop the song. I'm like, yeah. You know, it's nothing. And then he was complaining once on like his feet having hurting his feet because uh, he's trying to find a good shoe because he does so many shows. His feet are hurting a lot while doing the shows. And I said, why don't you just get an ergonomic mat? Just a normal respond, not nothing. He goes, I tried. He quote tweeted me. He said, I've tried those and I can't find the right one, man. Please let like you know. If you know something, let me know. Yeah. And I'm just like, oh man, there's so many. I don't have to actually get to. T- I have to talk to you to in person to know what the fuck. But yeah, I just liked it. I'm like, hell yeah. The random as re- response reply to is like tweet, and I'm just like, well, just you know, I'm not trying to be an ass or anything. I'm like, well, maybe you're playing on just straight four. Yeah. So, but yeah. <laughs> Little quick intro to the oro. He also made a song recently that got really big with the band in Mexico called Los Tucanes de Tijuana, which pretty much means the two cans of Tijuana. Old Mexican, not old Mexican band, but like was pop in the nineties, early two thousands. Yeah, you know, maybe the eighties too. I don't know. And he uh and he made a song with them recently that got really big, like very popular. But, like, Los Tucanes is, like, a major band. Like, that's one of the bands I went to go see at that festival in Austin. Okay. That was, like, really lit with the slight shows and all that. I'm like, damn, these dudes know how to party. And then the fight happened right after that. <laughs> after that, it was the other other band set. The one that my girl really wanted to see. Well, the second one she really wanted to see. Yeah. But she had to punch that bitch in the face. Damn. <laughs> go to patreon.com slash the PPP if you want to hear that story. Yeah. Did I say it on the Patreon or did I say it on the free one? We were going to do it. We were recording a free episode then you told that story and I was like, yeah, this should be probably a Patreon. Yeah, yeah, okay, 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 okay. That's what it was. <laughs> it's a great story. Yeah. It's a great story. I'll fuck around and find out. <laughs> yeah, so. But yeah, that's that's been... This has been one of my go-to music right now. It's just, for some reason, either a band called Worm. Yeah. That's like a meth- metal band, death metal mm-hmm. band. Or uh, Hanabe. I've been listening to them, too. It's a Japanese girl metal band. Yeah. And uh, Deoro a lot. I don't know what it is, but right now it's like, I feel like hip hop is being stagnant again a little bit. I mean, Vince Staples just dropped an album that so far sounds really good. I haven't listened to it. But it's I'm pretty sure good. It's I'm pretty far. I'm like halfway through it. It's really good. I fuck with Vince. And uh, gonna drop something, but let's be honest. Like, 
every Gunner song sounds kind of like the same. Yeah. So, like, it's dope. If I hear at the club, it's dope, but I'm not going to be running right around doing stuff, listening to just the whole album, maybe a few songs here and there. Yeah. So I just feel like there's really, like, I don't know. I've been listening to fucking weird shit. Yeah. I was well, going I mean, through like a, I watched that a couple documentaries on Britpop. So I was going through like a Britpop thing okay. the past couple weeks. And then last week when you were, kept singing Creep by Radiohead. Yeah, damn it. Got I, into my I fucking, finally got it out of my head. You got into my <laughs> head and I went through like a Radiohead. Uh, Little rabbit hole. Yeah. I've been listening to Tom York's Eraser a lot. Yeah. And uh, I finally got that song out of my head. I've been listening to Amnesia like a lot. Really? Yeah. Okay. They're the like yeah songs that didn't make uh, Kid A. Yeah. You told me about Amnesia last week. Yeah. I, I, I just started listening to it and I was like, fuck, this shit goes hard. <laughs> but I, I, I will say, I'm sorry. I forgot Sexy Red. They dropped her album this week. Or last week. With the BBL Drizzy. With the BBL Drizzy, which low key. Featuring Drizzy. I seen it coming. I'm like, I. Oh, I didn't. I, thought, I was like, damn, that's fucking. No, like, I smart said, it, like, shit. I told my little brother, like, bro, watch. Drake is going to come out and, like, with the summer hit, and I bet he's going to have the. He's going to do something with the BBL Drizzy. He's going to yeah. at least address it. So it gets on Sexy Red's thing. She going crazy on Instagram. I don't know if you've seen her Instagram post. Uh, I don't follow Sexy bro. Red. I don't even have to follow her. Really. It's just like I get sad. Like, bro, look what she's doing. She had a she. The funny post was remember back in the day, like on Facebook and stuff, when people were doing like like for to be honest, yeah. comment for uh, rate. Yeah, yeah. She did that on Instagram. Damn. She deep fried the pic. Damn. With her and Lana Del Rey, and like. And it says, comment, uh, comment for a to be honest something. And then there was an edited part where Bottom says, to be honest, I don't know you, but you seem cool. You know how to dress. I'm going to call you Ranch. Yeah. Uh, right? You broke my scale. <laughs> Damn. I was like, bro, hell, bro. What is, I'm like, what is going That's on? Crazy. And then the next pick is her literally. Wait, how? Okay. We're, she's literally. I was trying to say this as clearly as possible. She's literally pinching. Her lips and like lead it back. Her face lips? <laughs> no. <laughs> She's literally grabbing them yeah. and like holding them. Yeah, that's fucking like, wild. It is the most wild pick I saw. I sent that to Gerald. Gerald's like, what the? <laughs> that's funny. He's like, on IG? I was like, that's the most craziest thing I've ever seen right there. I'd never. And then like the next thing is with Lana Del Rey. And then she made a music video, and Lana Del Rey's in there with her. They're dancing and, I think, twerking and stuff. I'm like, damn, what is going on? I did not see this coming. It's crazy. I did see that. on Fucking Complex just went crazy posting the fuck out of that shit. And the BBL Drizzy shit. Yeah. Like, it was like when that came out, like, if I just scrolled on my fucking phone, like, every other post was, like, complex or complex music or yeah it was either that or complex talking about kai sanats and kevin hart stream i did see parts of that, that that's was funny, funny. As shit. oh when kevin made fun of him about the tyler thing dude yeah yeah we friends though yeah I, bro, I was in the restroom at work trying to hold my lap but when he gave fucking kevin hart that step stool that, that was, was the funniest thing on that the was funny street. bro you gonna need it <laughs> I bro, his Kai is short. That's what's funny. But Kevin is like short, bro. I thought that was bro, that whole stream. I could, I would watch it all, but I'm not watching a four hour yeah. stream. I might watch it actually. Just I, I didn't have to watch the whole thing. Yeah, I watched I clips, but man, that stuff Shit was. Posted. But I saw the uh, the big compilation they did of Drewski and him. Yeah, and it. Their stream, but man, that's that's. Whew. Did you see Zach Fox? On that elevator thing, DJing. Yeah, I saw that. That the, the beat, the set was kind of hard. I, I did listen to the whole set. I it, didn't listen to the whole set, it, but the set goes, was hard. It goes hard. Uh, the ending is the funniest, where he samples uh, uh, "Meet the Grams." No, have you not heard that part? No. Oh, dude, I'm, let me just play it. 
we're on the pod. Toss me the wire. Yeah, yeah, I'm for sure downloaded. What is it on? IG? It's, on it's on YouTube. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Send me the link too, because I, re- I, w- I want to watch the whole set. Damn. Now, I will say, like, it's just, it's not really worth, like, watching. Like, he's just DJing and, like, I like that. People though. come in in the background yeah, and stuff throughout I, it. I like the DJ stuff. I just kind of put it on and was like doing shit around the crib. I'll but, put it on like on my way home and shit. Or like when I'm at the house. Uh, it's stuff. probably like a perfect like drive home shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm for sure listening on the way home then. Perfect. Because it's only like an hour maybe. Yeah. I'll put pause on the door. Hour so. one. You are now tuned into. Where is that the very end? Basically, it's the like second to last kind of like mashup he does. That's hilarious. This man. Oh, it's definitely the like highlight point. Yeah, I'm looking at the like spike now. Excuse me. Hey, hey, okay. Yeah, I'm about to get hype at work. I'm the way to go home tonight. Just chilling. I, I don't. I'm not familiar with these, so I don't know if uh, there's like uh, multiple like elevators or whatever. It might or be a freight elevator. Yeah. It looks like. A well, freight. I don't think it's a real one. Uh. Yeah, in there, yeah. I hear it. Probably in the background is getting busy though. In the hat. Damn, everybody looking around. The man that like to play victim, you raised a horrible fucking person. They're doing the hats. Coked up. Yeah. When the dude wears his hat sideways like that, coked up. Okay. Yeah. Yo, this go hard. <laughs> Damn, yeah, I'm for sure listening to this whole on the way home. That part when I pull into my house, I'll be like, yo, we're going to party. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm ready. I'm gonna go buy me some more big beers and then go. But no, party. that's the funniest part. Cause like I saw that just like nah, a clip of it nah. and I was like, oh damn, I'm gonna check this shit out. <laughs> Just him breaking out and just doing that song. That's just, perfect. Because it, it, he doesn't, like, go, like, super... Like, it's kind of, like, more of a house, kind of, like, um, Jersey Club. Yeah, that's, I got the Jersey fucking, vibes. Uh, type, like, set. I still want to go to one of those, like, go to Jersey. To oh, I don't even know. And just do it one time, just see it. I don't know how those like even are like. Uh, yeah, that, I just want to see it. if that's like an actual like thing that still goes on because I feel like that's an older, like early two yeah. thousands kind of thing. I don't. I it might have had a resurgence, I guess. Yeah, I just want to see. But fuck it, I'll go. I'll go somewhere. Probably very Dominican. I feel like. <laughs> <coughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, because that's mainly who I see like promoting it is like Dominican dudes and. Fucking, uh, oh fuck, where is it? Like, Popo and them are from out there. Okay, I didn't know that. That's hilarious. Elizabeth, New Jersey. Oh, that's that's where, yeah, okay. I don't, I never, I don't I know, know, I don't know necessarily Jersey. where it's from. As far as the, the rap shit, I had he did drop like a uh, project. Maybe last month it went kind of hard. Zach Fox did? No, Popo. Oh, Popo. I thought you said Zach. I'm like, what? Zach did? I haven't heard about it. I, I don't even know what Zach does, man. He just does everything. Yeah, he he has a uh, Comedy Central uh, like 30 minutes. Yeah. I, Have you seen that? I haven't seen it. It's pretty good. I, uh, I know he does comedy. Yeah. He acts. Uh, DJs well. Raps, uh, raps, stupidly, but they're funny. It's it's it works. And draws, draws, and That's then how he started shit. Twitter, Twitter demon. Yeah, was a Twitter demon. I don't yeah. know, you know. R.I.P. Booty math. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, that Jesus is the one. That one was. 
that one was crazy. The freestyle, yeah, with Kenny Beats. Yeah, you showed me that actually. Yeah, and I thought that was hilarious. And he's like, I'm ready. He's like, I want something. Oh, I forgot. Oh, man, I'm gonna butcher. I'm not gonna say it. But he was talking about how what type type of beat he wanted. That was funny. There's also like an because like Kenny Beats during the pandemic would just go and like do Twitch streams where he would just make beats on stream and shit. Yeah. And he had Zach over there hanging out with him one time. And they made like a sick beat out of this just insane interview of uh, Busy Bone from Bone Thugs where he's just going off talking about like uh, like Egyptian mythology and shit like that. I think that's the sample they used in uh, the song he did with uh, uh, ASAP Ferg. What song was that? Trap, Not Trap Lord. It was all the Trap Lord album, but yeah, I know what you're talking about. At the very end, they might have sampled part of it, but like yeah. this is like they like it's so fucking crazy how they made the sample. You can find the whole thing on YouTube, but like uh, Zach goes into the booth to like freestyle, and you can't hear what he's saying, but Kenny can because he's got the headphones, so he's like here on the monitor. It's just not playing through the speaker. Yeah. And he's in there for like five, ten minutes. And you can see him just jumping, like going crazy through like a little window. Yeah. <laughs> and like I was just like, what the fuck is he rapping? And then like he comes out the booth and then they play it. And it's just him counting to 100. <laughs> like it's so fucking stupid. And well, then it, he gets to the end he's like, I keep it 100. I keep it 100. <laughs> what the fuck? It made it sound like he's doing so crazy. Yeah. He's just counting to 100. He's um, 21, 22, 23. <laughs> 24. That's funny. Zach Fox is hilarious. Oh, did uh? have you seen, speaking of com- com- uh, f- comedians, have you seen Shane Gillis's new show? Yeah, I watched All the Tires the other day. Uh, I'm, that's going to be my next watch because I'm finishing Castlevania right now. I'm like at the last three, four episodes. Like yeah. 20 minute episodes. Did you ever see the pilot for Tires? Uh, Only what was the, what, this, the skits that you showed me? Because they put the original pilot. It was on YouTube for a while. Okay. I don't know if I ever showed you it, but it's pretty funny. Yeah. But they basically took that whole concept and worked it into the are, series. Are they 30 minute shows or hour long? Like 22. Show? Okay, okay. So I had like almost half hour. Yeah. Okay, then I can watch it. I watched quickly. the whole thing like just what, in the morning. Was it like what, 12, up. 8 episodes? 6. Oh, then yeah, I can yeah. for sure watch it all. Yeah, and then it said that he dropped the special or was it an old special? I don't know. I, I, didn't it, I that saw that on my Netflix. It said Shane Gillis. Let me look it up real quick. Before I think it's just tires. I didn't see anything about that. But they could have put his YouTube special on Netflix. No, it's not the Austin one. Shane Gillis, Beautiful Dogs. Oh, that yeah, that's the that's been out for a little bit. Okay, that's basically the material we went and saw him do. Oh yeah, it came out last year. My yeah. bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. That's why I said I didn't know if it was an old one or a new one because it, it popped up because it since you like tires, like added tires to your mm-hmm. list. It said. Uh, watch this. I'm like, okay. Oh shit, Stav's in it. Yeah, I just see the like intro. He's just eating a fucking sandwich. Yeah, there's a lot of comedians and shit in it. That's why I saw Andrew Schultz is in it. He was promoting yeah. it. Yeah, I'm for sure. And it's watching. funny anytime like him and Tommy Pope who opened for him when we went and saw him. They like play like they don't really explain it, but I'm assuming they're from some type of used car lot that buys. Tires or some has like service connected with the uh, this shop or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but they'll just come over at random times, and every time Shane's like, "Oh, the Wops," and they're just like, "Oh shit, the Wops are here!" Oh my god, <laughs> the Wops are here. But it's very funny. It's just uh, Shane fucking with uh, uh, whatever that dude from. A lot of the Gillian Keeve sketches. Uh, I think his name is Goebbels or some shit. Okay. 
I got to look at his face. I can't put a name to a face right now. Uh, I'm trying to think what Gillian Keefe sketch he was in. You would recognize him if you saw him, but he's like, he's more of the main dude. And then Shane is like a supporting character. Yeah. I would say Shane's like the Dwight of the, ah, okay. Like Jim okay. is, uh, okay. That's fucking, cool. What's it? I, I, I would, would say, I would assume he would be the main character. I would, that's I would say it's like a white trash version of the office. Hell yeah. Yeah. My favorite, the working class. Yeah. That's funny. Oh, yeah, I'm for sure going to watch it. But they're kind of like co-mains, but I feel like this story is more about Gerbil's character because he's like the shop manager or whatever. Yeah. Uh, but then like Chris O'Connor is in it. He was in the pilot pretty heavy, mm-hmm. but uh, like he's in it for sure, but like I feel like they don't really go to him that much. And uh, Kyla... Who uh she like manages, I guess, a bunch of comedians oh. and stuff and does their like social. Yeah. But she's the like girl in it. Okay. She's like the receptionist kinda. Okay. At the place. Answers the phones and shit. I'm for sure watching it. That's gonna I'll buy Stalin might be in every episode though. He might be a regular cast guy because he's he's I'm pretty sure like he's like the regional kind of manager or some shit. <laughs> So like he's like pretty, like up there. That's funny seeing uh, him as as in the leadership role yeah. and like regional managing. That's funny. I'm. Um, that's funny to me. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, that reminded me. You know what I don't like now? It's off topic, but I went to the car wash. Yeah, and. As I'm getting my car washed, I'm getting bothered by these salesmen. This is like the second or third right, time right. I've been at the car wash by Walmart. Okay. And like they were trying to sell their hail repair, repair stuff because the yeah. hail season. This is like the third person like this week uh-huh. that came up to me. One at Quick Trip during my lunch break trying to talk to me. I'm like, yo, I got to go. I only get 20 minute lunch. Yeah. And then. One yesterday, as I was at the what you call leaving like Kroger, uh-huh. and like, hey man, I see your car has that. I'm like, bro, and I try to tell him, mm-hmm. I already got the claim for us, thinking that will stop him. I'll go, oh, well, you know, it's fine. We just want to let you know if you want to go to our shop, you know. Or you can Some of them work with insurance, I will say. No, a lot of them do. It's like I ended up going with a guy that did that when that sh- the same shit happened to me, and he did a fucking awesome job. Yeah. And it actually. He was like, yeah, like, low-key, like, people don't come to us, like, a lot. So, like, you're going to get your shit fixed way quicker than yeah. but going to a shop. At the end of it, like, I was getting very upset mm-hmm. uh, because, like, uh, this, I was like, bro, like, I ignored the first guy because I was cleaning. I ignored him, and he walked away. Then, like, apparently, his boss came up, and he was saying something, but I was not ignoring him because I was using the vacuum. It's loud. I was able to play that off. I turn around, he's still there. And I was there for a minute, like, just vacuuming vacuuming my shit. And then he talks to me, and I'm like, he tells me he's in DeSoto. They're based in DeSoto. Not yeah. even based. I'm like, why y'all up here then? They're like, well, you know, we go where the work is at. Yeah. And talked to him for a little bit, but he kept, the thing that, uh, that I liked about it, he kept it quick. Yeah. Like, it was like a 90-second pitch, if that. But... At the end of it, it did work because I'm probably going to go through them Yeah. because all the other places wouldn't fix my window. That's the major thing. Like, oh, we can't, we, you know, we don't cover window. I'm like, man, I don't give a fuck about the bums. I give a fuck about the window. Or then windshield, my bad, not window. Yeah. And um, he was like, oh, that's an easy fix. We do that. No problem. We do glass work. We do body work. And uh, he was like, uh, and we do, uh, we'll, we'll wash your car. Your truck will give you a full tank of gas. We'll cover the even if you don't have renter insurance, we'll cover the car rental. And you know, we'll pick it up wherever and we'll drop it off at the same place. And you you don't have to you just have to give us the keys and we'll do the rest. And I was like, damn, you doing you, you oh, and they weighed the deductible. 
Yeah. And I was like, damn, all right, now you, because I'm like, man, I've got to pay my deductible still. And all these places were like, i got to pay my deductible still. I was like, fuck y'all. And this guy said, and we'll waive your deductible. And I was like, give me your business card, man. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. I'm like, gave him my number, gave him my policy stuff. I'm like, we're going to, we're I'm most likely going to go through y'all. And it's because y'all going to do all this and, you know, not charging me a fucking dime, which is dope because, I mean, that makes sense. My I talked to my insurance agent. He was like, well, a lot of these places that don't get a lot of people will do that because, yeah, they'll lose a thousand dollars. Well, well, they'll pay an additional thousand. They'll pay your deductible. But like they're we're, they're charging us everything. Yeah, and we make they make still a good profit. Off yeah, of yeah, yeah. And I'm just like, cool. That's fine with me. And how they do it, it's kind of crazy too, because they just take your like paneling up, and they have like tools that they go in and like pop out like yeah. each and every dent. Yeah, they don't shit. have to uh, actually take it off and mm-hmm. redo it. So uh, that's what I like. It's like paintless dent repair or something like that. Yeah. But they'll do all of it. They like we'll do paint work, and they're originally roofers, but yeah. they're like their company decided to get into that as well. They're like we. The company was like, well, if we're doing hail roof, like, let's get into this. And like all that stuff, yeah. Yeah, and I looked them up. 4.5 stars out of 5 on Google. Good reviews. I'm like, shit, man. All right. <laughs> yeah. like, all right. I still don't like how you bothered me, guys. I'm doing something. But. No, dude, that's the worst. Yeah. Like, I would equate, like, like, to me, the worst is, like, people within, like, Walmart and Target. They try to sell you like phone or internet, yeah, service or whatever. And I'm just like, I would equate those people like on the same level of annoyance as like a homeless man, because <laughs> you're just asking me for fucking money, like while I'm trying to do, while I'm like That's grocery hilarious. shopping. You know what I do to those phone, those phone phone people? Yeah, I I see what phone company they work for. I just say I already have their... Yeah, yeah, I do that too. But like out here, it's fucking Spectrum and Reliant, which I use both of those people. Yeah. And I fucking hate one of those companies. Yeah. It isn't Reliant. (laughs) It's not Reliant. That's why it's called Reliant. But uh, no, the worst right now is every time like some hail or some shit happens is I get all these spam calls. The texts. Oh, my God. Uh, I don't get texts. I get Bro. calls of people being like, hey, like, they either have, like, my parents, like, old crib or my crib on uh, Summit. Yeah. From, like, way back. Yeah. And whatever. Years ago. And they're like, do you have any roof damage? <laughs> Dude, I've just been fucking with them every time they call. And I, like, that I notice and pick up. Because we'll just say scam call or whatever. Yeah. And, like, they'll just not know my shit, but, like, somebody. Uh, like, the last one that just had me kind of laughing was uh, someone was like, Hello, is this uh, Mr. Adami? And I was like, who the fuck is this? And uh, the guy <laughs> was like, man, who the fuck are you, man? Like, I'm just doing my job. Fuck. And then just hung up. And then, like, dude, it made me laugh so hard. Oh, I would have had to pull over because I, I would have laughed so hard. Man, fuck you, man. I'm just doing my job. Yeah. <coughs> you probably cost that guy to quit his job, man. That's hilarious. Maybe good. I don't give a shit. Because they're doing scam. That's not even like a real. Like, they just send people out to try to get you to buy, like, roofing and shit. Yeah. Like, it's such fucking bullshit. But, uh, uh, like I had one guy that I was just like fucking with. And he's like, yeah, where the fuck you at? <laughs> like, cause he was getting mad. I forgot what I said to like, uh, uh, like this. <laughs> but I was like, I'm in your mother's cunt right now. <laughs> and he was like, oh yeah. And he read off like the summit street address. He was like, you there? I was like, I'm here with your mom. Yeah, you better show up. He's like, all right, motherfucker. And like, hung up. 
<laughs> he shows up to some oh, random yeah, person's no, house. That'd be nope. hilarious. <laughs> he like, no. Doesn't have anything to do with me. Nope. <laughs> yeah, I'm still here, bro. I didn't even say like my, what my name was. I just like was like fucking with him from the beginning. Some of them are good too. Like I'll just try to get them to like repeat themselves as many times as possible. Just be like, oh, what do you mean? Like I don't. What do you mean? Like, like do you have like damage to your roof? Well, how would I like know? And they <laughs> just like get them to like, get, like basically run their shit. And when they're like kind of interested, I just like kind of like change what I'd say. <laughs> It's pretty uh, fun. I know, man. I, I have my shit on Do Not Disturb all the time. So The only time like I don't like answer is if I'm like working. But if I'm just like in my car or like just chilling here and somebody call like fucking with them off rip. <laughs> Be like, oh, I have I have fifteen minutes to spare. Let me go ahead and answer this call. Like I wish I was like good enough to where I could like record record them, but I'm usually in like nowhere near this and it'd be like too much of a hassle to like set it up and record and like get the actual yeah call or whatever yeah you have to have one already you have to have it set up already where you can answer it just like that and like you know that that could be a lot get my gym florentine on yeah you could also uh what you call well, there's a way to do it. You can sign up to all those like scam things where they answer your shit or like. I get enough to where I could easily. No, like on like, a different phone and stuff. Yeah. So like you know it goes to that phone and it's that phone's already connected to it. The thing you have to give them enough of your information to where they're gonna call you. Yeah. So like you can't like go like super crazy with it because like right now I'm in like because they're not calling me about anywhere I live. They're calling me about shit in Sherman. So I'm like. Just fucking with them. Yeah. A couple times they have, like, said, like, like the old, like, address, like, on this, like, street, which I've been like, yeah. But, uh. <laughs> because you were fucking with them. They're like, oh, yeah, you live in this one, right? Well, like, uh, somebody, like, I forgot what it was, but th that was, they started with that address, and I was like, fuck, how did they get that? But,. I don't live there either, so. Yeah, it's an old address. Honestly, the best would be, like, they go there and it's, like, some just fucking hood-ass dude yeah. living in it now. Opens it with the just gun tucked fucks in. Fucks him up, yeah. Yeah, like, what the fuck? You think you'd say that shit to me on the phone? Excuse me? <laughs> just beats the <laughs> shit out of him. Grabs him. Just fake, grabs him by the shirt, pulls fake him in roofers. the house. Yeah. Da, 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 da. That's hilarious. Oh, man. Well, oh, we should do some housekeeping real quick. Instagram at Premium Product Podcast. Twitter at D underscore PPP. Excuse me. Patreon.com slash the PPP. Ah, Bonus it episodes every week. Do a movie club, get you Discord access. There's a Minecraft server. Um, we do uh, Twitch streams Twitch. over com. on Twitch. Twitch.tv. Twitch.tv slash the PPP show. We've been streaming Destiny more. I've doing, been doing a Destiny boot camp. Yeah, some little quick, you know, I think this, uh, since we're recording like on Memorial Weekend, I'm going to try either tomorrow or Monday and have a good like chunk of my day dedicated for me like to play cuz I'm going to work Monday. I think I work Monday but I'll be kind of off uh like early-ish, I think. I might okay. have a different schedule but usually around like 2 or 3. Oh, uh, I, I won't even be free until then cuz I got to yeah. wake up, work out, do stuff around the house and yeah. then I'll be free. Yeah. But uh Scoochy. I think I'm off Wednesday. Okay. I mean I work but Yeah. I mean it's not that bad. I play during when I work too, you know, so. But uh, our uh, Twitch stream is linked to Bungie, so you can do, you can watch the stream if you also play Destiny and get rewards for your character. It's an easy way to get quick 
upgrades of stuff, weapons, armor. You could probably stream snipe us as well. Oh, you're a fucking <laughs> cunt if you do that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a newbie in the game. If I get sniped by someone who's watching my stream, I'll be so mad. And then they comment on the stream. They post a yeah. GG. I'll be. Um, I'm like, hold on. I got to get off the phone real quick. I'm they about would to just go have off. to like, try to match with us on like multiplayer shit. Yeah. I mean, they couldn't really fuck with you. and Yeah. My, other... my, my coworker, when he played Destiny, he didn't like the multiplayer thing about it. Uh. I asked him why, and he was like, "Oh no, no, no! Uh, he didn't like Destiny Two, the ga- the format of the game, like oh, controller really? wise. Oh, really? Because he played Destiny, and it was a different control, like controller for it. not controller, like controller, but like he says the the me- how to m- maneuver and do all this stuff was different. I never played I Destiny. I, I played it. It was it. Is it the same? It basically." Okay, then I don't know. Then he must be talking bullshit out of his mouth then because I never played Destiny. I've only played Destiny two and I've only played like four hours of Destiny two. So like I'm fresh like baby in the game. And I played the Destiny beta back in the day and then had pre ordered original Destiny, got it the day it came out. OG you've been playing OG it. Destiny player. Yeah. So and yeah, and if you say it's the like same control, because he was talking about like the camera and all that, and, and no, you, nothing strange. Okay, see, okay, maybe never, he might have been talking about Hell Divers, because Hell Divers One is completely different than Hell Divers Two. Mm, he might have got the games mixed up then. Yeah, he might have got the games mixed up, because that does sound like that. Because Hell Divers One is like a like top down shooter where Two is like third person, like almost a completely different game. Yeah. Okay. Like you made a third person shooter out of the top down game and shit. Third person shooter got popular because of Fortnite and PUBG. Well, I feel like uh, originally it was like games like Gears of War and shit that made them like really pop off. (laughs) Completely forgot about Gears of War and um, Army of Two. But, I mean, really, like, I mean, Super Mario 64 is third person, technically. Yeah. Like, but that's different game than, like, a first person, third person shooter. Because the shooter. Well, yeah, yeah, the shooter's the genre, I guess. No, well, I'm just saying that game because in those games, you're not, you're just moving a yeah. character. But I would say, like, the other one, Fortnite's a battle royale. It's not really a third person shooter. But you're in third person yeah. mode. That's what I meant to say. Third person view. Like yeah. That. My bad. That's my fault. I begin to shit confused. Um, I think that's all the housekeeping. Twitch, uh, YouTube. We also stream on YouTube. Yeah, I've been on Twitch a little more, but I'll get YouTube back going. Um, yeah, that's all the housekeeping. So we- podcast is also on YouTube. Uh, it's been posting there. Uh, sometimes I forget to, for whatever reason, whenever it posts the episode. I have to go to YouTube and manually make the video public. Yeah. Uh, and sometimes I forget a day or two. So. Yeah. I think that's like a dumb feature because when I used to, when I posted videos on YouTube, I'll be like, why am I getting no views? Like, I can't, I can get at least 10. But if you listen to your pod on YouTube and it's late, sorry. Yeah. Say something on Twitter, I'll fucking fix it. Twitter, Instagram, you know, DM. Um, get into fit checks. Uh, I'm wearing the Jordan One on my manier, uh, and uh, with the cream cell laces. Uh, always get. You know, this isn't one of my favorite shoes. Like I like how really? it looks, but I, you know, I would fuck with them heavy. A lot of people give me compliments on how they look. People who are not sneakers like this shoe a lot. Yeah. Like, oh, it looks really pretty. I like the shoe. It's a really nice shoe. Yeah, it's a good cream, but like, it's something about it that I'm just like, it's not like, I mean, I, like, I paid resale for it, but. And that money went to the Chinese government. Yeah. Shout out, China. Do your thing. Uh, <laughs> I'm wearing. Big Daddy uh, Chi. Uh, Carhartt socks, Ooh. New Balance, uh, Levi's jeans, and then an oversized 
Carhartt Pocket Tee. Yeah. Yo, know, if you don't get what we were talking about, though, uh, look up the uh, Amma Monnier, the Whitaker, yeah. Whitaker group. Uh, and he's going to rent ties. Pretty crazy. Yeah. It actually was like really pop trending hard last week. or Well, yeah, because it came out that supposedly like James had a lot more involvement with it yeah. than he was like saying. Yeah. So there's a lot of there's a lot of content on this. You can easily get read up and yeah and see what's going on. And hey, we're not necessarily saying, you know, he's a bad guy. Like, it's until I have, no, I have until, no judgment yeah. on it, really. Whatever happens to him, damn, that's crazy. Next time, be careful, you know, or, you know, good, good shit getting away with whatever. You I mean, want. like, I'm not pro, like, giving money to the Chinese government, but. Get your money however you want to do yeah. it, man. It's, it has if it doesn't affect my everyday life, and it's just like a big thing where you get fucked over, and that's just you. I don't really understand what yeah. he was doing as well, like, like organization wise. Like, yeah, I mean, it seems like it was like some type of money laundering. He was like money thing, laundering, but like I don't understand uh, the money laundering sneakers, sneakers and clothing. Yeah, it was money laundering that through that and uh i don't think he was you can go one. find the yeah, i don't think too. he was money laundering himself his money i think he was helping someone in china launder their money i think it was something like that maybe I don't and know. you know you there's more people that are more uh uh read on this and you can read their content about it but yeah that's one of my like the issues a lot Uh, did you do full fit check? Yeah. Okay. Um, Oakley Ripsaw Mule, I think. With the ostrich skin. The white ostrich. The white ostrich skin. Posted on the Instagram last week in the, uh. Fire. For the sneaker. Um. Release. Cop. I got an 11. A little big. Now, I feel my actual shoe, shoe, eh, shoe size is probably like a 10 and a half. But uh, I wear like a lot of Adidas shit where it's like 10 and a half is really small. Yeah. So I get an 11. And then I've just been doing that for a while. Yeah. So like a lot of my new balances are an 11, but I don't really like slide around in them. Those you slide in? That much. Not initially, but as I've worn, because I've been wearing them like a lot, just going around doing shit. And like as I've worn them more, I feel like the leather's like kind of expanded a bit. Breaking in. Yeah. And uh, now I like slide around in them like a lot. Damn. But I probably just need to wear like bigger socks. Thicker socks, yeah. Yeah. If I put on like some like Carhartt socks, like I'd probably be pretty good. Yeah. But uh, super cozy. The leather looks like genuine leather, too. Yeah. I don't know if it is or not, but... It's good leather. Yeah. Um, Then uh, just North Face Tech Pant and a uh, Beams. I don't know if this is like a Mandarin tea. Beams! Or uh, what, but I got it. They did like a collab with the Nordstrom's like a long time ago. I think back in 2019. Yeah. At the uh, like Nordstrom's pop up, so they just were selling like a lot of beam <coughs> shit. I got those nine nineties that are cross pattern there. Uh, this shirt I got. They had a lot of beams polo stuff. Fire. I believe I got a hat. <coughs> uh, oh, and no, I got. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Cat got his tongue real quick. They got me. <laughs> um, Chinese heard us They're attacking us That purple polo with the white collar I have That's a uh, Beams That's a fire to cover the Collar combination and Then I also got the Beams Saki set From that pop up as well Yeah Damn Beams just dropped the shirt Or revealed the shirt they have It's like a mesh knit shirt yeah, I gave me big Jamaican vibes. Uh, I guess a uh, 
uh, beams alert. Damn it. There we go. Um, I saw they're doing a collab with South to West State. Yeah. A very fire Japanese uh, fishing clothing company. That's with uh, uh, the Nepenthes group or Nepenthes family of uh, brands. So like needles, shit like that. Yeah, I think I saw, it came out earlier this. Week. Well, it's a uh, kids collab apparently, yeah. like with one of Beam's like kids brands, which I was kind of pissed about. This was the shirt I was talking about. Okay, yeah, it's all right. But the other clothing is fire. I mean, you got like clean. Oh, I saw. Uh, apparently, there's a Fuji rock concert. Or a Mount Fuji rock festival Denim shorts every year hosted by Beams. Really? So they do a bunch of like shirts and shit for it. I was looking on uh, eBay. And there's a bunch of uh, clean ass like bands that like came and performed there and you can get like a Beams shirt for the uh, thing. Okay. Damn. They also did like boots and like collabs with Keen. On like sandals and like a pair of boots and shit for one of the years. Bro, the Japanese be holding shit back or hiding shit from me, bro. Yeah. I don't know where my phone is. Uh it's on the floor. By your left side. Yeah. Let's see if I can pull it up. Oh there we go. But uh Yeah, I guess we can get into uh drops. Really? Okay, releases that had just happened this uh, past week. We've had one Nike Air 180 in the Ultramarine colorway for $150 in Nike.com. Fire. Uh, excuse me. Uh, this shoe was uh, designed in 1991 and last seen in 2018, so it's been a few years. Yeah, I don't know if we need a super yeah. detailed explanation on them. They're yeah, they're just a classic Air Max model in a classic colorway. If you don't have them, I definitely pick them up. Good summer shoe, <clears throat> good barbecue shoe. Also, we had the New Balance Kawhi Four in the gray day colorway. Uh, this is what's celebrating, I believe, New Balance's Gray Day. It's like their equivalent to Air Max, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was for $165 on NewBalance.com. I think it's, it's the debut of the Quad 4 as well, maybe. Yeah. And it's the uh, just the New Balance. All gray color. Gray colorway. Uh, Age midsole. It's, it's a basketball shoe. But these look pretty fire. Yeah, they're a fire shoe. But it's a basketball <laughs> shoe. Like, so... Next one we have, fuck those. Futura Nike SB Dunk the Low. Dunks. So I see someone. If you got them, congrats. They're probably going to resell for crazy. Yeah. I seen somebody uh, locally got it. Yeah. Went back home. And he hit, hit on sneakers and he was like, no way I hit on these. That's fucking crazy. I was like, damn. Crazy. It's a fire shoe to hit on. Yeah. 135 bucks retail will probably. Go for a couple racks resell. Future like be, graffiti artist. Yeah, it's going to be a steal for like a rack if you get it like that. OG streetwear guy. Yeah, fire. Beautiful shoe. And then I like how he did like a little raffle a contest for people can sign up and he picks a winner and they get the friends and family pair. Mm -hmm. So that I thought that was like double. I was like, damn, man. Uh, before the next one, one that dropped uh, uh, Thursday, Clark's uh, Supreme. Supreme. The patent leather uh, patent wallabies. leather wallabies. You weren't a fan, right? I don't like the patent leather look on the wallabies. I think it's kind of fire. Only on the black pair, I think are clean as like dress shoes. Yeah, that's to say, as a dress shoe, I can see that. But and I've come around to like I actually really like the tan, the cream. There, yeah, the cream. The green Classic. one is crazy. Yeah, it's a little too much. I'm yeah, not a big the green fan. Green one is crazy. There's a green and red. 
Christmas for sure. That's elf yeah. shoes. But uh, no, I fit like this. Like I fuck with that. Like jeans, the cream ones. Okay. Yeah, I just uh, the patent leather on Wallabies to me just looks awkward. I don't know. I like it. Yeah. I love a Wallaby. Who knows? Maybe if they, you know, I made sure I get a pair of these. My, they didn't resell, so I don't think they have a thirteen though. Yeah, of course not. Of course not. Let me check. Fuck me in the ass because they don't have been in a fucking thirteen. I believe shoe sizes should go extending sizing. Sizing should be like be a fourteen. A fourteen should be. Uh, whatever size lowest to the 14 should be a shoe that it should be accessible to people because a lot of people are 13 and 14. Oh, I'm sorry. They do have a 13. Either way. That's kind they of only have a 13 in the cream. I don't know. I might, I, I, I guess if I see them in person or like see how they look. In person, I could like maybe come around to it, but in pictures and how I look, it's just like oh, the patent leather to me. I'm never patent leather's not been a it's not a favorite textile of mine. I'll say that. Really? Yeah. I love a patent leather shoe. Yeah. But it's all patent leather. Yeah, I just don't know the shine to me. Like when I like do those like suit rentals and they have the patent leather shoe. I don't like how it looks on me. Really? Yeah. I like the shine. Yeah. I just like doing the mirror shine myself, not with the help of a... I don't know. I just like it. But the shine is... I I like just like a leather, just normal leather, maybe maybe even horse or anything else soft like that. And, you know, but patent leather is just... ah, I don't know. I don't know. I like it. Probably why I never owned a pair of 11s. I like the 11, but like... I just like the cool grays. Yeah. I just don't see myself buying a pair. Like, I don't know. I don't know. To me, it's like a uh, like novelty leather. It's like an ostrich leather on yeah. a sneaker. Yeah. It's just like, oh, damn. That's like a... It's one you like break out. Just like be like, oh, this is going to be like a different shoe. Like uh-huh. out there. Nobody's gonna be out there with the patent leather Croc or Clarks on. Yeah, and if they are, that means they know some. Yeah, they they got a little sense of style or something. Uh, next release that's actually had a crazy uh, release on his website is the J Balvin Jordan Three in the Rio colorway. Uh, some people are nicknaming it like the Sunset because it's the dark, even though the other one's the Sunset. Um, uh, his release has actually got crazy. Uh. Uh, viral moment because he dropped it on his uh, website, the J Balvin website, and had a code to it, a discount code that made the shoes because the shoes were selling on his website for twenty five thousand dollars. This discount code brings the price down back to the retail, like retail of yeah. two fifty. So you put the code in, you get the detail. Well, the bots that you got on his website did not use the code. Mm-hmm. They're not programmed, I guess, to do that. So if you had a bot and it hit, you pay $25,000 for that shoe. Yeah. And for the people who had multiple bots that had hit multiple, it just went up and up and up. And I thought that was crazy. Yeah. I'm like, that's probably the best I've seen so far about fighting bots is that way. Just like, you know what? Let's discount code. Put an outrageous price and discount code it to like goes back to the original retail price. Whoever thought of that shit, fucking genius. But um, no luck on hitting on those either. I tried for the Futuras. Futura. ah. Futura. Futuras. And failed, and I also tried for these and failed. Yeah. Uh, resale right now looks is on my size is around five hundred bucks, mm-hmm. four to five hundred bucks. So it's not too bad. It's the same price resale value as the Let me original chain value. Is on the future is. 
I'm not gonna lie, if it hits under f- five hundred or six hundred at most, the future like pay after taxes and all that fees, hmm. I will probably buy them. Eleven, they're four eighty. What was it? Thirteen. That's not that bad, to be honest. Five oh eight. So five sixty under six hundred dollars. <sighs> Yeah, it's probably gonna be a dude. Uh, total at checkout is five seventy five. On your size? No, for a thirteen. A five seventy five. Yeah, plus that's like plus uh, whatever their horseshit tax and shit is. Oh man, you're convincing me already. No, I wouldn't do it right now. Wait like at least like a well, week. I'm gonna wait like watch it throughout the month. Like I gotta watch it throughout the week and watch it throughout the month because once people. People get the pairs yeah, yeah, yeah. and receive them after. That's around like a month. See, that's what I'm waiting on with the Pumas because I got them off a goat. The Skepta Pumas. Yeah. So I think I'm waiting on those to get shipped to whoever bought them and then he's shipping them to goat. Yeah, because they, they get two to four weeks to get them. But I think know. that's also what happened with the Awake airships and the guy just canceled his order once he got them. Because either too fire. Probably. Yeah. Damn. So I might not get my poof. Damn. Goat has not been really working the past couple times. Yeah. I like using goat. eBay too. I like it a little more than StockX. eBay is for sure the best, I think. I don't do StockX. I do StockX if I'm looking really quickly for a price of a shoe. I don't use it to get like Jordans. Yeah. I don't use StockX. I haven't used StockX in a while. I use goat. Mm-hmm. eBay, but a lot of the shoes in my, that last year I got were GR releases. <coughs> or I was able to just hit off the website because not a lot of people were looking at them. Yeah. So. No, that's what I usually do. Yeah. All right. Get off Bodega. Do a quick roundup of uh, what's coming out Yeah. this week when you're listening. So, first shoe is the Air Jordan 17 Low and the Lightning. It returns. Uh, uh, it should release on May 30th on for $300. Woo. Woo. Fire shoe. Fire shoe, but for $300. Good luck to you. It's a performance basketball shoe, man. <laughs> Outdated performance. Uh, next one is the Nike Air Max 186 OG in the camo colorway. Uh, for two hundred or one hundred and fifty dollars on May thirtieth on Nike dot com. I fuck with these. It's the big bubble. Big bubble Air Max. It reminds me of the uh, European military pack. Yeah, that was all the different military camos and stuff. Yeah, the colorway is Earth Oil Green Black Light Lemon Twist. That's the oil. So that's what they went with. For the color. It's a nice colorway. For a camo shoe, it's done well. Uh, next one is the New Balance 993 Made in USA in the Sea Salt and Black colorway. Uh, I'm sure he's dropping also clothing with these as well. Yeah, they're all right. Uh, the, I'm sure the material is nice. Very, uh, I've had the Made in the USA things from his Teddy Santis yeah. thing, and they're very well quality made. So, uh, you know material is gonna be good. On New Balance for two twenty on May thirtieth. Uh, we also have, excuse me, the Victor Solomon Solomon and Reebok Answer Three. Uh, this comes out May thirty first for two hundred dollars on Reebok dot com. It's based off he, re, uh, Victor Solomon redesigned the NBA's Larry O'Brien Trophy. Yes. So. Big new NBA uh, heritage culture shit on that. Yeah, these are fun. Next one is the Kith A6 Gel Light 3 in the Soul colorway. This is to uh, debut with the store Kith store that's opening in Korea. Yeah. Seoul. Uh, Ronnie Feig finally uh, dropped Ooh. an official look a few weeks ago, and they're dropping May 30th. I believe there's also First, a pair of Clark's, uh, Wall- Clark Wallabies that's going along with it. Mm-hmm. That's in the exact same color with the exact same suede. Yeah, it's a very hairy like suede, and it's March 31st on Kith.com and EU Kith.com, Kith Tokyo, and Kith Seoul. Uh, 
I, they don't have a price, which I'm assuming it's going to be probably around two hundred. Two hundred bucks because it is a Kith collab. Next, want to be tax facts. Uh, next one I have is the New Balance fifteen hundred in the Made in England and the off white colorway. Fire, fire New <clears> Balance. <throat> uh, for two hundred and ten dollars on June first. It's to celebrate. It's the uh. What is it? And it's just the New Balance uh, from the England English factory. New Balance England, yeah. Yeah, and uh, in a very clean, sophisticated colorway, just like a nice, n- kind of a neutral gray. Neutral gray, blue, and red. It kind of gives me English vibes colorway. Yeah. Uh, the flag. Not my favorite colorway of the fifteen hundred, but these are far. Yeah. Next one is the A six Gel Kano. Uh, 14 in the sweet pink colorway on June 1st for 150 on a6.com. Uh, I believe this is not, uh, <coughs> not a uh, women's colorway, so it's a unisex. No, GR. Yeah. So it's just a metallic silver uh, mesh A6 with the sweet pink, like a hot pink accents on it. It's really clean, really nice. Uh, for sure. Uh, a shoe someone should cop. And we have the Air Force One and the New York versus New York colorway on in June for $135. I think it's a collab with uh, John Morant, maybe. Cause yes, because all... he also has the John Morant one Air Force, uh, yeah. New York versus New yeah. York also. Uh. It's for the annual New York versus New York tournament in the boroughs. There we go. So I believe that's also the uh, from that movie we watched. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> fuck. It, it uh, is. I can't think with of it. Tupac the... in it. Yeah. Yeah. So it's that tournament. Uh, this, uh, the Air Force comes out and $435. And it's just a uh, New York colorway shoe with the. Uh, color gradient change throughout the swoosh and the clear blue mm-hmm. uh, translucent sole. And the we, last... Yeah, I was going to say, let's end on... Yeah, the last one... The is, most gangster... Uh, <laughs> speaking of Tupac, the most gangster Air, Air Force, Force One of all time. Yeah, talk about breathability <laughs> and everything. But it's the Air Force One low and the triple black, but with perforated leather all over the sneaker. Now, you weren't a fan of patent leather. Yeah. How do you feel about uh, perforated leather? All over the shoe, though? Yeah. Like, come on. Like, I understand. Like, Looking the toe. like a steering wheel. <laughs> it's like, I understand the toe box because of, like, you know, heat and stuff, like expanding heat or, like, some of, like, the mesh sneakers, like how they have in some parts. Yeah. But, like, a leather shoe that's fully perforated like that, that... Nah, man, like... No, you need to have breathability when you're doing... Hot boy shit? Yeah. Yeah, nah, man, I'd rather have... Nah, I'm good. I'm good on this one. But if you want this one, it comes out in June for $140. Uh, I'm assuming the leather is going to be somewhat decent on it because it's perforated. But I could also see it be just... Yeah, crazy. I'm sure it'll be somewhat of a higher quality... Leather, but so if I see you running in these, I'm for sure staying away from you. What are you doing that your feet need to? Be I don't know. These down? Nike Tech would yeah. be pretty fire. Would you feel the holes going through your sock as you're running in the sneaker? I don't know. <laughs> like, is it they like might get these just for the uh, name <laughs> like, now, though. But it's, yeah, for science, I would do that for science. <laughs> that's wild. Oh man, that's wild. Um, I don't hate these, to be honest. Like, I like the idea, like I said, of just having, like, a high-grade leather, i.e., like, a pen leather yeah. Air Force One. Yeah, these are nice. I, I also guess. said I'm a big fan of the seamless Air Force One, which is just... Str- no preparation yeah. at all. Just straight hot. Straight pen leather. If you're wearing those... Yeah. yeah. Damn, man, you uh, stay away. We, uh, call the SWAT. Call bomb control. That's crazy. Oh, 
that's all we have for sneaker releases this week, y'all. Yep. May have some uh, quick uh, shout-outs over on the Patreon. Uh, and then we'll get into some other stuff. Later, but, uh, y'all. Deuces.